Hello, this is Sir Stillwater. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the Ark. This is another great building in my great building series, and where I cover basically cover each of the great buildings in Forge of Empires and talk about what they have to offer and what my thoughts are about it. So now we're going to talk about the Ark. Uh, first off, a very popular building. You'll see it a lot, and you wonder what's so great about the Ark. Why does everybody build one? Why does everybody that doesn't have one want one? <laughs> Why does everybody that have them likes to get them up to level 80? Uh, and so on. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, this is what it looks like on its little great building card, if you have one. Uh, you notice I've got mines currently at level 85, and I've got a nice little boost on my contribution reward as well as my guild contribution, which we'll talk about those in just a second. So there it is uh, on the card. Here it is in the wild, sitting next to my town hall. Now we're going to jump over and we'll talk about what this has to offer and why you might want one. So first off, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you're interested, please do so. Um, it really helps. Um, also, if you like this video, you know, throw a like, all that good stuff. Uh, I do have a link down below to uh, my playlist for all the great buildings, as well as to the forgeofempires.fandom.com slash wiki, uh, which is the resource I like to use for some of my, my uh, great building and just general game research. I've got no affiliation to that site. It's just a great resource, and I like to kind of give credit where credit due. And so i got a link down below to take you right to this arc sheet uh, page in that site. Okay, so the Ark. As I mentioned, it is a future era building. Maybe I didn't mention. It's a future era building. Uh, its cost to construct is 300, 350, 375, 450, and 400 of future era goods. Uh, the size, it's a 7 by 5, so it's 7, seven deep by 5 wide. Um, not too bad, um, all things considered. A connection to a road is required, of course. It's a great building. That kind of goes without saying. But it's properties. Let's talk about the properties, because that's really where the benefits for this great building uh, lie. So first off, this is both beneficial for your guild as well as for yourself. And first off, we'll talk about what it offers for your guild. Um, daily collection on a 24-hour cycle. The guild good production at level 1 gets 9 per good from your current era. So let's say your Iron Age, it will give you nine goods from each of the five Iron Ages. So it's 45 goods per day uh, contributed to the guild treasury. So similar to the observatory, uh, it has a higher payout, obviously, because it's a higher age building. Um, and it, it kind of it really kind of grows from there. But uh, very beneficial for the guild. It helps the guild get the goods that it needs so it can, can, it can uh, unlock things in guild expedition and do things in guild battleground and in the old days GVG uh, and so on. I don't know if GVG is even still technically around at this point by the time you're watching this video, but um, either way. Uh, let's see. Now, the contribution reward boost for yourself. Here at level 1, you get a 10% contribution reward. So what that means is when you help somebody level a building as a contributor and you're in a payout position, meaning you're in anywhere from, depending on the level, from let's call it from position 1 through 5, depending on the level, they're a great building, and you get a reward, this gives you a multiplier on that. So let's say you were in the money on somebody's great building and you're going to get paid out, uh, let's see, 10 FP. Uh, I'm going to make it real simple. I'm going to say 10 FP, 10 metal, and, um, you know, I don't know, one blueprint. So what you're going to get here now, instead of just being the 10 FP, is you're going to get 11 FP because you're going to get a 10% boost on your payout. Same thing for, if I said medals, uh, you would get 11 medals and so on. And then because it's only 10% of one blueprint, you only get one blueprint. Eventually, it'll get up there to the rounding effect. Let's say you have, let's say it paid, you know, you know, five. I think I think once you get past five, I think, uh, or 50%, I think it'll tip over and it will round up. So it would give you six at that point. So that's where it really kind of gets advantageous to both get this leveled up and be a, a higher contributor on buildings that you contribute to. And then the same thing applies for blueprints. So that's at level one, which uh, is, again, the 70 required FPs, which is very common for level one. Um, and then you get up to level 10, 970 uh, to unlevel there. And you're at 31% reward. And then 22 goods per Great per good for your guild contribution. So we're talking 22 times 5, which is 110. That's 110 goods per day going into the guild treasury. Um, again, as I mentioned in some of the other videos, but I'll repeat it here, is when you have a 
goods contribution that goes to the guild treasury, it will do that quantity times each individual good. If it's just your own goods gathering, you'll get one random of the five times whatever the count is. But the nice thing is, I really think it's pretty cool. It, it's it's more it's more of a a, a a reward bonus to for the goods contribution. So that's why you see this a lot. A lot of guilds require this. They res require an observatory or an arc or some of the other great buildings that do um, guild good contributions. So that's the benefit of the arc. Um, and why does everybody want to get it up to level 80? Well, at level 80, you get a 90%, and that's that kind of 1.9 thread and all that jazz. Um, that's kind of where that comes from. If you get to level 80, you get a 90% payout. And then it's pretty incremental up to that. Um, you see they go half half points uh, for a number of levels up to that. And then you get 160 per day per good. To, I'm sorry, 162 per good per day uh, for the guild treasury, which really helps, especially if your guild is active in uh, guild expedition and guild battleground and so on. So that's that. It continues to go above that, and uh, see, but the cost per increment uh, drops down to a tenth of a percent. So it doesn't, uh, if you look at a level 100 um, arc, gives you a 92%. So that's that. Um, any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave them below. I'm trying to keep this one short. I will cover the arc along with a couple of my other favorite great buildings um, in another video. It's kind of like my little trifecta of great buildings that I personally like from around this era that I think... Uh, kind of really help contribute to my gameplay of this in my main world, which is about building great buildings. So that'll be another video. I would probably have released that by the time you see this because I'm doing these on, you know, kind of a schedule. So, um, or if you're interested in, you know, seeing that, when, when that's ready, I'll go ahead and I'll put a link down below for that as well. But thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't, like I said, if you're interested, please subscribe. It really helps. Um, it helps the channel as well as it helps other people find this content that they may find useful in learning more about the game. Um, my videos are made for people that are really kind of learning the game or just trying to expand the depth of knowledge that aren't, you know, super rock star players per se. Um, but it's really for anybody, but it kind of helps kind of that range of players. So. That's my goal, to try to help and share. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye.